What is going on guys? Welcome back to my Make Singapore Great Again series with Hao Kang United on Football Manager 2018 and this is episode number 2 for this series and yeah, I'm really excited to continue on with this series uh, maybe because I have started things really well with the 3-1 victory against the Young Lions at home as well as holding out to a pretty exciting 2-2 draw against home united away from home getting a point is really amazing and i reckon that the honeymoon period is officially over by now because if you you guys yeah you guys know about this the next two matches which are televised by the way but oh we get uh some money out of it oh that's that's nice Home, yeah, but it's only for the home team. So we'll get 4k something from this match against them. I don't know how to pronounce uh, this name, by the way. Because I watched a highlight of the uh, real-life uh, Singapore Premier League game recently. And the, comment the commentator said that it's Tam... Tam... Tempin, I don't know how, how to pronounce it, I don't know, but I pronounce it as tempin, Tempinus, Tempinus, but I know that it sounds terrible, especially the, the second part, <laughs> that sounds uh, like something else, but yeah, I don't know how, how, how what's the real pronunciation, but anyways, that's, that's not important, I guess, but yeah, honeymoon period is over because Tempinus, Tempinus <laughs> Rovers is uh, the second strongest team in the league by far. But they didn't start really well. They have been they lost their opening game okay, at home against Home United. And that's the only league game that they have played so far. But up next they will be up against us. And yeah, they will be out for blood basically. So yeah, wounded wounded animals will be will be dangerous. But uh Fumia Kogure suddenly got injured. I think he got injured from training, actually. A pulled groin yeah received in a training incident i won't uh, rush him basically i don't think i will play him and because tempiness is a very difficult game so i think what i will do is i think i will rest shukri bashir as well as a result of that actually i should be worrying about the match later because it's uh, one day away but i think it's better to just uh, be prepared for now and uh get the game plan going so basically what i want to do is i want to replace him and give this guy uh, i recently have him uh this guy the young guy the 17 year old guy with potential uh firdaus masri to be tutored by fumia kogure and now kogure is injured so i won't rush him probably i'll, I'll consider putting him on the bench actually for fumia but at this point in time i'll just put him here and replace yeah for me i'll just put him on the bench and as a result of that i will have to put uh, sukri bashir on the bench as well as a possible fresh legs uh somewhere in the middle of the game so i think i will play two defensive uh, midfielders for this game and then i'll pull garrett low here yeah, he should be comfortable. I think I'll play with one striker for this game. I think that's what I will I will I'll be doing. Advanced playmaker uh, on support. I know it says red here, but yeah, I think this is the this is the thing I want to do. Yeah, this is the formation I want to do. Probably if I put him, yeah, I think this is okay. But the mentality, I will go on a defensive. No, actually what I will do is, I shouldn't have done this. I should... <clears throat> I should... I shouldn't mess with it. Uh, I'll just go here and then put Garrett Low here. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, just so that everything will be in order. So I'll, I'll have these two guys defending. Yeah, I think it's better screen to screen the midfield. Hopefully, this will not result in terrible things happening. Because every time I try to change things like this, horrible things 
tend to happen. I'll, I'll try this uh, setting for now for float crosses for Pablo and I'll just go with a slightly deeper uh, defensive line just to be safe just to be safe and more direct passing more discipline maybe I'll take out uh, yeah let's put more discipline for now for now and then see how it goes but for the rest of the team I'll just keep it as it is and let's move on so the pre-match conference is starting uh, yeah last time out against home United your team plays well so I just say yeah we have to keep on working hard because tough matches coming up okay I don't know what's happening with his face if you guys notice his face was different in the last episode but now suddenly he's changed into this I don't know what's going on <laughs> but anyways yeah okay so what are the challenges that come with facing a side like that uh, I don't know I don't want to go into some battle just say yeah we'll, we'll approach this game I don't want to, to play mind games at this point usually it backfires on me so uh. Okay, so um, e okay, so okay, so there's nothing much here. Okay, I'll handle the briefing. I'll just usually I I leave this to the assistant. I think that's the safer option. Hand over to assistant. Fuck it. <laughs> I'll just say. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to mess with things and then suddenly things just go haywire, you know. Okay, so here we go. The the match is today. I believe it is today. Okay, so what we do is let's double check everyone. Yeah, everyone seems to be in a good condition except for Fupinha Kogori. I think I will put him, keep him on the bench. But... Yeah, he, he, I, ideally, I, I don't want him to come up, come on. We don't, we won't be needing him to come on. But if I'm chasing a goal or want something magical to happen, I'll, I'll bring him on. But for now, uh, this is what I will do. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I think I will keep it uh, like this, basically. I will keep it like this. And yeah, Garrett Lowe as the advanced playmaker. I wanted to play him as a striker, but yeah, let's try this setting first. If things go haywire, then we'll we'll make the change on the spot. But usually, when I I mean in the in the last series in in my young lion series in FM seventeen against Tampinas as well, I tried to mess up with my uh, formations and I just got killed. So hopefully, it doesn't happen. Lightning doesn't strike twice. Okay, they're lacking match sharpness, but it should be okay. Should be okay. So we're playing defensive, but with the intention of countering them. Oh, look at him. He's the only one who has a face. Very funny. Okay, let's go to the dressing room. I'll just say, uh, I don't know. I'll just say assertively. I just say the fans usually yeah usually it doesn't yield any reaction at all. So we're going to we'll just try to talk I don't know why. Uh I don't know why when you say give the fans something to cheer and there's no reaction. Like why are they so stoic? Don't they love the fans or something? Very weird. Very weird. Yeah, I think I'll leave him to the assistant manager for the opposition instruction. And let's get into the game and hope for the best. Oh, uh, I'll double check the... Yeah, it's extended highlight. So, but yeah, I mean, the quality difference is there. They are a very good team. Second best in the league. So, yeah. Yeah, as you can see. Especially if we are playing defensive and slightly deeper, that means we are inviting them in. And this is technically a new formation, so I don't know what will happen. But so far, yeah, so far they are the ones having the chances, not us. Okay, Garrett. Oh, look at that. What a pass from the young guy. Oh, Nasrul Nazari. Wow, what was that? That looks so weird. 
weird but awesome at the same time. Yeah, they have been shooting from distance and nothing much happening. I think I'll try to talk, team talk, the usual team talk about get creative. Usually it works well. I mean, most of the time anyway. It's not always working, but most of the time it works uh, sort of quite okay. <laughs> but yeah, they, they are dominating uh, the game, but we have been limiting them to shots off target, which is good. Oh, Garrett giving away possession. Yeah, they have been restricted. They have been restricted. Okay, Nas Rasul Nasari and at oh Garrett Low is the one. Garrett Low. I thought it's at Susi Shirota was the one scoring, but Garrett Low. Wow, out of nowhere, and we have taken the lead, but. <laughs> they are the one with the possession now. Ugh. So I don't know. We are, we, are, we are already playing defensive. So I'm not too sure if I want to change anything at the moment. Okay, no Rahman, Garrett. Oh, what, a, what a great attacking move. And we are playing defensive. And when we go forward, we are still doing well. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. I can dig this. All right. Okay, at least we have been, we seem to have, okay, whoa, no Rahman, oh, oh, but Pablo, what was that, Pablo? No Rahman, the, the, the 36 year old guy, always on, always at the right place at the right time, oh, oh, Iqbal, showing his strength, but lost the possession, Faruddin, Faruddin Mustafic, ah, oh, Faruddin is the one, oh, Twisted knee, that is not a good sign. That is not a good sign. It looks like a twisted knee. That's not a good sign. Uh, the young guy uh, with potential. That's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. So probably I will have to play. I don't know. I have no idea what to do now. Okay, let's just go to the dressing room. Uh, I'll just say I'm pleased with yeah how the things are going but i want to yeah 53 percent he has to come off unfortunately uh do i want justin hui yeah probably i do actually rather than fabian okay let's go with justin a uh, ball winning midfielder on support hopefully he's going to do well but garrett low playing here at uh, as a Advanced playmaker has scored the only goal so far. So, yeah. Let's go to the second half. But uh, I don't feel good about Firdaus Masri because uh, twisted knee, that sounds really bad. Okay, Pablo taking the free kick. Usually I want Pablo to be at the end of this free kick, not the one taking it. But Jeremy is free. Fahrudin, Mustafic uh, getting closer and closer. So, yeah, that is worrying uh, I feel I just have a slight feeling that I have to make some sort of change in my tactics or anything like that Ryutaro uh, managed to equalize I, I, I knew that I should be making some changes I knew that I could sense something is coming I think this is what uh, experienced FM players like uh, Footy Manager TV always say about how if you play FM or CM, I've been playing until the CM day, so you guys probably can guess my age. You 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 know you know there's a certain pattern going on, but Justin uh, hasn't been doing too well as a ball winning midfielder, and Pablo yeah hasn't been doing well as well. So let's go with Shukri Bashir right now. I know that 1-1 one, one is a good result against Tampines, but uh, <laughs> because of how we took the lead, I really want to, yeah, to, <laughs> to try and try to win it, basically. So more direct passing for now. Okay, let's, yeah, let's give the shout. 
I don't think we can give a shout immediately, right? I don't think. Uh, as long as the game allows me, I'll just say get creative once again. And then at around 70th something minute, I will try to make further changes. Oh, Hyrule Amri coming on. For those who followed my uh, previous series, the FM17 one, you guys know how well he did uh, for us, for the Young Lions. Okay, right now, do I want Fumia Kogure to come in? Probably I do, actually, to be honest. Uh, probably it's too early for Kogure to come in, so I'll let things stay like this for a while. But now I'll go Route 1. And I just... Maybe go with a higher tempo, much higher tempo for now. Who knows? Who knows? And what else can we do? Yeah, I think this is this is okay. But we go defensive. I don't know if... Okay, let's go defensive and then we go... We'll, we'll try something more... Uh, desperate later on. <laughs> oh, but they are they are still okay. Garrett. Oh, I hate I'd hate to concede. Uh, right there. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, I think it's time to make some try to to make some sort of changes again. I'll go with uh Fumia Kogure right now. And, oh, wait, wait, wait. It's a bit, okay, is Kogure in? Okay. Uh, I'm taking a risk. Okay, let's go with box to box. Uh, let's change things up a little bit. No, maybe not. I don't think I want to go attacking and all that. I think that's stupid to say the least. But I'll go flexible. I think it's stupid to go attacking against Tempinus. Yeah, I'm even though they have haven't been. Oh, I'll just say uh, demand more for now. Demand more also sometimes yield uh, results. So who knows? Oh, oh, Iqbal! Oh no, Iqbal will get red. Oh my god! Ah. Uh, Oh my god, uh, this is another thing that, uh, like I said, experienced players like Footy Manager TV always try to, to say. When the game really wants you to lose, yeah, this is what happens. Uh, I think I'll keep Shukri up front, I think that's uh, better for him. Okay, I don't know what to do now. Uh, probably I'll just... Take it to a more normal tempo. And then go slightly deeper. I think uh, that's good enough. Yeah, I think that's all I can do for for the moment. And I'm actually hoping now that we can hold on. But with 10 men, usually it's, it's hard. Oh, hopefully we don't concede any penalties or some bullshit like that at this point in time. I noti I feel that there will be one or... Uh, okay, hopefully it's for us. Nasrul Nasari, but... Uh, too powerful there. I'll take a point, but if we can score a late one, Shukri... Oh, don't tease me. Don't tease my emotion. But uh, I don't like that Iqbal gets a red card and then our young player... Uh, what's his name? Firdaus gets... Uh, gets injured. Firdaus Masri, especially about knee, twisted knee, I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that. Unlucky, I just say unlucky. That's all I can say with the red card and shit like that. But I'll take a point against Tempinus. Tempinus is Tempinus, you know. Uh, okay, so I think there's a lot of opportunity to talk about uh, the match in the post-match conference. It could make or break our thing. <laughs> Uh, I don't usually in, in the older games I we are able to read uh, the the report the match report so that I know what exactly happened but it doesn't seem to be the case in this game I don't know 
uh, okay let's just take a look at the incident I don't know maybe I'm I'm biased but it seems soft it seems soft it's not I don't know I don't know uh, I don't think I want to appeal because usually it results in in even more punishment and there's no not even an option to not an option to uh, appeal anyway so I'll just issue a warning yeah okay usually uh, yeah okay so uh, I'll just say yeah as soon as possible yeah I don't want to yeah, I don't want to comment on individual performance, but yeah, well, one point is, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that any day, despite their bad start. Uh, we are still unbeaten. That's the thing. That's the thing. We are still unbeaten. Okay, so for Warriors, I think I want to be maybe defending set pieces. Yeah, so next up, it will be an away game against Balestia Hall. So I don't know if I want to keep, no, I don't think I want to keep uh, this formation actually I will refer to the usual one but we have to make a lot of changes because of what happened uh, how long is he going to be out three to six days okay that's not too bad at all but this guy will be out of the action in the next game uh, there will be seven days so most likely Firdaus will have recovered just like Fumia Kogure I don't think I want to rush him I will see how it goes we'll, we'll see how it goes let's just go uh, all the way to the match. Yep, Iqbal is a key player, so yeah. But sooner or later, like I said, sooner or later, I will have to really uh, rotate the team, otherwise players will start feeling unhappy and things like that. But look at this, we are, are still unbeaten, and the only ones unbeaten so far besides us uh home united and albirex nigata albirex nigata of course not surprising they are like yeah they are too good too good i'm pretty anxious about the blastia match because this is the match where we really want to get a result i'll save the game first this is a standard operating procedure because i don't want any bullshit happening and shit like that a lot of bullshit can happen like the game crashing or I don't know some bullshit like I, I accidentally uh, unplug my computer or something like some bullshit like that basically uh, who is this guy yeah I mean I, this guy has been recommended to me a couple of times but I don't have any budget at the moment I, I, yeah I don't think I can I want to sign him at this moment he's 21 So not really one for the future, I believe. 21 is yes, a tad too old already for uh, youth with potential. The 17, 18 is more like it. Okay, Tempinus uh, beating Balestier. And we are up against Balestier next. So we have a rest seven days rest while well, last year just got beaten by tempiness so maybe we could take that into yeah make use of that take advantage of that i should say okay so uh we have to think about the team that we really want to play garrett low did well so i don't know if i want to start him again over shukri Probably I should. Yeah, let's give another chance to Garrett Lowe. But this time, I'm going to play him as a deep lying forward on support. And Masri is already fit. But, yeah, not in a good condition. Let's just go to the actual game day first. Okay, let's adjust our formation so far. Okay, let's just go to the day first. Yeah, I mean, that's what I said. Alright, so this is the match day. So, 
uh, it's time to consider uh, the players that Yong Iqbal definitely is not going to play because of his red card. How about Firdaus? How is he doing? 86? I don't know. I don't know. It's a bit... A bit iffy. Okay, let's just play uh, Fumia. Fumia should be okay, right? Where is he? Yeah, he's okay. Alright. But... Uh, I might need Garrett Low over there. But I also need someone with a more defensive outlook. Yeah, his tackling and all that is not up to standard. And even Fabian, he's an attacking minded player as well. Probably I, should, I, I have to play Firdaus again. Uh, Justin didn't play well, that's the thing. But he will have to come off the bench as well. Uh, I'll go with Nur Hilmi Justin. He's, he's a. Oh, no, no, he's a winger though. Okay, who is more defensive? I know that I said, okay, this guy, Afik Matnori, I just, just what we need. Yeah, probably, probably I'll play him instead of Firdaus. Firdaus can come on uh, later. Yeah, this is, this is better. And Sukri Bashir will sit on the bench as well, but he will come on in short notice. Okay, Fumia Kogure, I will go with Masala. Anchorman, yeah, I, I like to play players where they are comfortable in. So yeah, let's do that. And the mentality is standard. Yeah, not like this. Float cross. I think whip cross. I'll try whip cross again. Yeah, I think that, that's it for now. Let's start this way. Let's start this way. Hand over to assistant. Uh, let's just go with the standard mentality so far. And then we will change things accordingly. I think that is a better approach. Rather than go attacking right away or things like that. As usual. Uh, okay, what? Okay, assertively. Yeah. I like to say the fans, it seems to be a good option compared to the the other options that they gave me. But yeah, there's no reaction as well. I don't know why. I want to see a good performance. Okay, let's start the match. Uh, the striker starts with a knock. So hopefully, we can, again, we can take that into advantage, into our, into our advantage. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, so far, it's, it reminds me of the Balestia game away from home. Oh, Jonathan, again, talking about being reminded. Oh, Irhan Raushan. Oh, my God. They take the lead. Jonathan Tan, he did extremely well for us. Look at that uh, in the, in, with the Young Lions. And now, oh, my God, I find out the hard way how good he is. I get reminded how good he is. Okay, uh, we don't look like doing well at all. And we are lucky not to concede another goal. Uh, I think I'll go with demand more. Something is going wrong. Okay, Faris Farhan. Oh my god. Faris Farhan from the left. No Rahman always, always pinpoint. Oh my god. We took it back. Fumia Kogure! Oh, right on the line. So I thought that he could he could score there. But Jonathan Tan to, to remind me how good he was in the Young Lion series. If you guys watch, you guys should know. And Pablo 2 1. Oh we were sleeping and now we have been rudely awoken. Fumia. Pinpoint pass and Pablo just finish it. Cool, calm, composed as expected. So yeah, that's good to see. That's good to see that we are waking up after that shock. Okay, Fumia. Okay, uh, oh, no, Rahman. The, the intention was good, but execution was poor. Admittedly, oh, Raushan. 
the scorer Garrett Noh Rahman I always trust Noh Rahman or Garrett Low Noh Rahman to to do the smart thing if only Noh Rahman is like a a playmaker an advanced playmaker I think he'll, he'll be a delight to watch but yeah even from the right back he has been proving to be a good oh Shahirul oh my god that was a that was a good that was a that was a sublime shot I can't yeah but our players should be should be limiting them this kind of chances I know it's outside of the box but still but 2-2 two, two so far uh, I feel that I should change the way we play for the second half just like I said earlier okay let's just give a team talk first I'll just say yeah let's just go there and team talk let's change our tactic okay Garrett hasn't been playing well so let's go with Shukri Bashir and this time we'll play him as a poacher of Fumia oh, but Nor hasn't been doing well but we are really a shot of men over there I think I will try something here maybe higher tempo and then pump the ball into the box for now see how it goes and let's start the second half hopefully Shukri Bashir will be able to inject something uh, but our passing hasn't been too good and Jonathan oh yeah like I said we have to limit those kind of shots okay Pablo ah uh, usually Pablo will win that kind of headers I don't know oh Oh Jonathan, oh that is wow, oh, that is too good. That is too good. And Jonathan playing a huge role again. Yeah. Okay. Oh Jonathan. For one second I thought that is our team because of our last Oh they are too good. They are too good. They are they are killing us. Okay, let's change our tactic just a little bit uh, maybe pump ball into the box is not good maybe work ball into the box for now because when we pump ball into the box we always lose out for some reason we always lose out in the heading and all that okay so let's do that for now and give a shout again uh, demand more and then yeah we'll make further changes uh, a little bit later Probably as early as the next highlight, after the next highlight, which is for them again. Oh, Jonathan. Wow. We are getting murdered. Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's take things a little bit uh, serious here. Okay, let's go attacking now. I think it's time to shock the system, so to say. Hit early crosses, pass into space. Let's do that. Route one, and be more expressive. Yeah, that's disappointing. That is disappointing. Four to to go behind four two. Uh, that's disappointing. Are we attacking now? I don't know. Maybe still standard, but that's probably still for the best if we go standard. But Fumia, can you do something? Nazru Nazari, that's. Uh, not looking like threatening at all okay let's go attacking and okay let's go with Masri he will provide a more secure outlook so to say and Sukri Bashir uh, hasn't been doing well but I won't stop him just yet but we are two goals behind so a little bit hard a little bit hard but at least we took a point from Tempinas that's the most important I would say that I what I expected is to lose against Tempinas and then uh, get a draw against 
But last year, that's what I expected initially. And Ahmad Kidir, yeah, he's good as a poacher as well. Probably go, yeah, root. Yeah, uh, I'll go overload a little bit in a, in a bit. Okay, I think it's time to do that. Uh, let's shout first, get creative. Can I change the tactic right after that? I can. Yeah, let's go overload and get tweak the instruction a little bit as well. I'll take more risk and run at defense. But yeah, it's it's hard now. Two goals. Nasrul Nasari and we get a penalty. Uh, things will be interesting. Fumia Kogure, can you do something? Oh, that's just not our day. That's just not our day. Yeah, straight to the keeper. Straight to the keeper. Yeah, that's not our day. I don't think we can... If we scored from that penalty, we could have had something. But no, not like that. Not like that. Oh, what? Oh, uh, there's nothing I can do though. There's nothing I can do. I already, yeah, I already used all my subs. Yeah, not our day, not our day. And without Iqbal, I think, yeah, we get we get killed. Uh, I don't know. I just say, I'm far, from, I'm far from from pleased. I'm far from pleased. But to lose like that and our first loss of the season against Balestier, uh, one of the weaker teams in the league, yeah, that is, yeah, media pre prediction is 8. So it's pretty, I don't know, uh, there's the thing about playing on a standard mentality. I always don't do well in standard mentality for some reason. But I didn't want to play defensive. But it's a away game, so maybe I should, yeah, I should have actually. But hindsight is twenty twenty, like what what people say. So I'll just do this talk. Uh, what's your reaction? Yeah, I'll just say I don't know if I want. Yeah, poor performance. I mean, the penalty missed by Fumia Kogure just uh, just sums it up. How do you feel in the, in the first? Uh, I'll just say yeah, no honeymoon can last forever, and the hard work starts. Yeah, that's 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 exactly in my mind. That's how we started uh, the series. I don't want to comment on any. Oh, two to four weeks, and we do not have a left wing, and he was the one who scored. He scored a goal last game. I don't know. I just say it's not. Yeah, there there are other players who can step up. Hmm. I don't know. They are all strikers. Faris Farhan is a winger. None of the below, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I just say, yeah, we are all moving on. Yeah, that's a perfect answer. That's a perfect answer to handle that. So our first loss, 2-4, four, 4-2, four, four, we considered four goals. That is not a good, that is, that is not good actually. So let's see what we can do in training. Uh, defending set pieces, okay, that's fine for that game. Let's go attacking movement. And then, what's the game after that? Young Lions again. I'll do defensive positioning for that because it's an away game. But for Warriors, I'll just go defending set pieces. Or maybe defensive, or maybe teamwork. Yeah, teamwork, why not? Uh, okay, the training is already focused on defending. And it's already a few games, so maybe I should go with uh, ball control for now. Or team cohesion. Yeah, team cohesion is, is, is better, I think. Because in against Balestia, what I mean, how we played, we didn't look like a cohesive team. We didn't look like a cohesive team at all. That's, that's the concern there. But... Yeah, the match is in six days, so there's some time to rest, but we will have to think about it because Hyrule Nizam is also injured for four weeks. So no wonder they ask me, who do you want to replace? And they, they, they just give me all the strikers. Okay, this is very interesting because we won't be able to play anyone on the left. So... 
and Garrett Lowe is hopeless there. Okay, so that is something I really have to think really hard. Uh, I really, I think I really have to play some formation where we have to make do without anyone on the left because yeah, we don't have anyone left. Unless we can get someone from the reserve, Benedict Sim, to stand up. Yes, yeah, I might consider playing him actually. Yeah, Benedict Sim, get your ass up to the senior team. Yeah, I will give him a. Hopefully, he doesn't get injured in training and bullshit like that. Hopefully, and he, yeah, he's playing here, so that is awesome. All right, <laughs> so. Okay, so we we'll have to do with this and Iqbal should be back for the next episode in the defensive midfielder position. So hopefully he will be able to uh, to do well in the next game. But anyways, yeah, this is very tough that we lost. I didn't want to lose against Balestia, to be honest. If I lost against Tampinas, I will feel okay. But against Balestia, is a bit... Uh, and another problem is that we haven't been keeping clean sheets at all. In the season, we considered goals, and over the four games, we considered uh, eight goals already. So on average, we concede two goals in a match. If we concede that many goals, then it's not good. It's not good. And Young Lions surprisingly has been doing extremely well since they lost to us in the opening game. Wow. So we have to be careful because we are going to meet them as well. If they they continue their form, they might be the one that stab us really hard in the chest let's just put it that way so hopefully we can bounce back against warriors fc and then Geylang international i almost said Geylang united uh the team's old name but anyways i'll see you guys in the next game and hopefully you guys have enjoyed uh the two games but yeah we have been hit with unfortunate incidents like iqbal getting injured and then uh, getting red card i should say and then our left uh, midfielders all getting injured for a long period of time so benedict sim will step up the guy from the reserves with 13 crossing hopefully we'll be able to launch some crazy crosses but yeah uh the honeymoon period is indeed over and like i said in in the post-match conference just now the honeymoon is definitely over and i'll just say uh, where was that where was that i just want to yeah okay no honeymoon can last forever that game has brought us back down to earth and the hard work starts in earnest now exactly what i want to say exactly what i want to say right now so anyways guys uh thank you so much for watching if you made it this far consider subscribing and clicking like and leave any comments and i'll see you guys in the next game in choa stadium against warriors fc have a nice day